CM Punk was WWE Champion for one year and two months. He's looking to get back to gold as soon as possible by any means necessary. Look at these two jockey for position. Controlling the head. The Rock. CM Punk using those versatile feet. When you think of the personal life of the very private CM Punk, you have to think of him talking about loving this business, admiring legends, blowing up such as Ricky the Dragon, Steve-O, the British Bulldogs, Red Hitman Hart, Randy Macho Man Savage. Hey, what about the King? They've all played a part in CM Punk becoming the best in the world. Oh, right now, the momentum is with The Rock, and who knows when it'll stop. And there's the reversal. And there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Uh-oh, trying to put what a move. Michael, you're definitely right about CM Punk guarding his privacy. You're also right about how Punk idolized so many legends in this business. A young CM Punk watched sports entertainment in Chicago and was so influenced by what he saw that he decided at an early age all he wanted to be was a WWE. Wow! What a move from The Rock! Now that's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. And here's a kick out by Punk. Just think, King, all those great pictures from the Rock's family photo album, right. the home videos of them emulating the likes of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair are just as, if not more, special. There you see the Rock's true love for this business as a boy, and you definitely see the beginnings of the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Yeah, the Rock's personal life, to a degree, has always been part of his WWE career. If you look closely during his matches, you can see his family sitting at ringside. I mean, you can also see the influences traced back to his grandfather and father when he was electrifying the crowd. Timber, and he falls hard. Uh oh, big move coming. The Rock has eyes to finish. That's it, he's out. We see it one more time. And will this be it? 